Yo, yo, it's your boy Jay Boogie back with another video today on this terrific Thursday. Let's dive into for another top five video. So today I will be talking about who is in my top five best shooting guards of the 23-24 NBA season. So don't forget to like, <coughs> excuse me, like <coughs> and comment under this video. Make sure you guys don't forget to do that most definitely. So, at number five, so, when I do this, it's going to be about who's been, you know, the best shooting guards for the regular season and then heading into the postseason. So, don't forget. So, at number five, I got no other than Devin Booker. Devin Booker been, you know, had a, another great regular season, um, you know, like I said, you seen this clip. Like I said about him, about his game, he got one of the best pull-up three-point shots. Three-level score, nice mid-range game. Can get to his spots when he needs to. Fluid jump shot, one of the most purest shooting forms you've ever seen in your life. Uh, can finish at the rim. Uh, guy, this dude, I mean, this dude, this dude, this, <laughs> this dude can get buckets anytime, anywhere. And I feel like as if anything I learned about his game that I love the most, it's the fact that just like other great scores, pick your pace. And you know, he looked he he know how to pick his pace at the right time. And like I say, he, you know, came to the league as a three-point sniper. So his three-point game has evolved each higher each season. And you know, with Devin Booker, like I said, he got one of the best pull-up three-point shots in the league. Smooth jump shot, can get to the rim. And, you know, in the playoffs, despite him getting swept, you know, he put up good numbers, even though he's been a little bit iffy in certain games, in four games. But, you know, he still put up good numbers. And Devin Booker, man, is, you know, cannot sleep on his offensive game. And, you know, and another thing that stood out to me about him is that his playmaking has gotten better. Even though he's not a true point guard, but still to average seven assists and still put up more than 25 points per game it's, it's, it's pretty efficient and then of course efficient scoring uh, season and then efficient scoring uh, outing throughout the playoffs against the Timberwolves in the first round so Devin Booker definitely deserves to be number 5 on my list at number 4 I got no other than Donovan Mitchell Donovan Mitchell has been cooking this regular season you know <clears throat> like, like, like with Devin Booker, these guys can know how to score off the ball through point line. But Donovan Mitchell has that more in his bag with shooting off the dribble. Got strong finishing ability with his size and height. You know, can finish at the rim with either hand, pulserize anybody at any given time. You know, got one of the best handles. Go to go into a jump shot, signature moves. Um, you know, and he has a nice quarter game. And then, you know, how dominant he was against the Orlando Magic in the postseason was, I mean, I mean he carried the Cavaliers, you know, despite Darius, Darius Garland being inconsistent, Donovan Mitchell carried the Cavaliers as he should to defeat the Magic in the first round of the playoffs. So Donovan Mitchell, man, like I said, he, I think he's, I think he signed the contract. I don't know with the Cavaliers, but, I mean, Donovan Mitchell has been getting pure buckets as usual this season. And like I said, the way he had, the way he performed in the playoffs in the first round against the uh, the Orlando Magic, I mean, said in this clip, how he, how he was just you know being being Donovan, being Spider, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So Donovan Mitchell, man, like I said, you know he got like I said, he another great three level score, but he's definitely got one of the most flashiest three point shots in terms of off the dribble moves, and you know with him. You know, he could take over games any given time. Nice mid-range game. I mean, these these guys on this list are all three-level scorers. So, Donovan Mitchell definitely deserved to be number four on my list. No doubt about it. And number three, I got no other than my guy, Uncle Drew, Kyrie Irving. The best finisher on this list. The best craftiest finisher on this list. Um, of course, you see in this clip, his finish ability is... It's untouchable. You can't deny it. It's legendary. <clears throat> a wizard with the ball in the midair in terms of finishing abilities, the switch hands, 
acrobat moves, you know, and then of course with him, mid-range game, shooting off the dribble, can post you up. Uh, you know, uh, I mean, I mean, Kyrie, you know, despite all the criticism, the media bull job, and all the other things, he still managed to make it to the finals in the postseason. He been a little bit up and down this, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, he still had his best performance. I believe, believe his best performance was against the Timberwolves in the uh, Western Conference Finals. And, you know, he was straight cooking him and Luka. And like I said, with Kyrie, man, he's you know, he had another great regular season with him, uh, of, of him, with the Mavericks, um, you know. So Kyrie Irving, man, I... You know, I feel like now more than ever now them getting Clay Thompson, which I'm gonna drop a video on this soon, uh, probably tomorrow or Saturday. But you know, it's it's a lot when you look at his game. It's like everything just kept keeps evolving, and you know his finishing ability is like I said, nobody can finish better than he can. Just have the hang time to switch hands shoot at a certain angle off the glass is it's incredible and you know Kyrie Irving man like I said one of the most clutch, clutch players on this list and, and plus in the league like I said can shoot off the dribble good mid-range shooter good good three-point shooter and you know uh Kyrie like I said he's the only one on this list from the Western Conference of the shooting guards that went to the finals and you know I, if I give him one out of ten, how he played in the playoffs, I give him a solid eight, despite you know, how he played in the finals. But either way it goes, you know, Kyrie Irving man, had another good regular season, and they, you know, a good postseason run with the Mavericks, with Luka Doncic, and reach to the NBA Finals. So he deserves to be number three on my list, and number two, I got no other than the reigning Finals MVP, the Easter Collins Finals MVP, Jalen freaking Brown. You know, man, he's possibly, arguably, no doubt, the best defender on this list, two-way player. Um, this dude got one of the best driving abilities you've ever seen on a fast break. Pretty much a one-man fast break. This dude can posterize your big man anytime. In the Not just big man. He can posterize anybody, yo. Just anybody. And then, you know, despite criticizing him being, you know, can't go left in the finals, he... He had moments where he went left-handed or dribbling with his left hand and, you know, still able to get buckets. But the main thing I'm proud of him the most is that how, especially in this clip, how efficient and more confident he's shooting threes. And you've seen it, especially in the Easter Conference Finals against the Pacers. But without the re Will you watch his highlights throughout the regular season? I mean, his three-point his three point game has gotten so much better, more fluid, more confident. You know, our, our talk about how his most dangerous, dominant scoring area outside of finishing is the mid-range, you know, uh, uh, it's going off the dribble, you know, can go shoot from the right elbow, left elbow, post up, smaller guards, you know, pretty much all of these guards on this list know how to operate in mid-range very consistently and, and, and at a high rate. So, you know, these are the shooting guards I would love to build a team around on this list, despite how they can score, two-way abilities, finishing, uh, being clutch, and so forth. But Jalen Brown, man, has been very dominant in the playoffs, in the conference finals, and in the finals. So he's honestly a dog for a reason. So, so Jalen Brown, man, like I said, a great two-way player on this list. Deserve to be number two on my list, no doubt about it. And number one, no other than Ant-Man, Anthony Edwards. Man, high-rising season, you know, currently dominant against the Phoenix Suns and able to knock out the defending champs in the second round of the, uh, the Denver Nuggets. And, man, like I said, man, Anthony Edwards, man, has been highly entertaining, another dog, can score all three levels, finishing at the rim, plus the rise, anybody. This dude got it all, bright future, future president in the league. No doubt about it, y'all. I ain't got to say much. Look at this clip of what he doing. So that's in my that's my top five best shooting guards of the 23-24 regular season. Let me know what you guys think. Love you guys. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Jay Boogie is out.